Hi Aries, this is your career reading for the month of November. I am going to look at the energies in your 10th house and also in your 7th house because this both these houses um, are connected with each other. How is your relationship? How relationship with people? And how is uh, your you how you are perceived in your career? What kind of accolades or honor you are getting in this time period? That is what I am going to see. So, in terms of your livelihood, what all comes? Your education, if you are studying, your projects, your work, your money, your finance, uh, and uh, stability. So. Uh, in terms of your uh, interpersonal relationship in your uh, career situation, um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or Go Capricorn or a Libra or you are coming in balance in your relationship. People value you uh, as a queen of pentacles. So you are a very a just person. You are a fair person and uh, you are perceived very well. Uh, but you had gone through uh, ten of swords so some of you are going through lot of troubles problems uh, in terms of your uh, love or uh, marriage or you know people around you could be stabbing in your back but judgment situation will occur in this time period uh, ju not judgment justice will occur in this time period uh, your scales will be balanced so karma justice can be offered to you in terms of interpersonal relationship you will be feeling much better much balanced in your life in terms of your career and you will feel valued with the queen of pentacles or you could be in a long term situation some of you are are very stable some of you have family wealth some of you have uh, um, shelter house um, home uh, very stable conditions you could be married to a very stable person so this is what I see in this time period or some of you could be having a great job uh, so if you don't have a job you have a good business uh, that is also possible so you are in good uh, situation in terms of your career things will progress in this time period with the eight of wands some of you are doing business um, uh, with social media some of you are doing business in fast movement industry some of you are uh, working online uh, so you are already in a queen of wands position so queen of wands uh, if she is employed by others she is in a creative field and uh, if she is uh, not in a creative field she could be a ceo or a leader of her account some kind of person who uses uh, on their boldness their confidence their looks uh, they could be a performer they could be uh, uh, they always have fan following they always have fan following and they can uh, you know attract people and a queen of wands is a very determined energy very leader like energy and you are in fiery spirit and you are going towards progress so in this time period what will happen is um, it is the Scorpio time so death and judgment so death and judgment so death is connected with Scorpio so death is coming twice in your reading so so what does death means it means a transformation in your uh, outlook transformation in your approach what you had practiced before uh, uh, you came in this situation which could be a new situation for you uh, you are going to uh, say goodbye to things you had done in the past so there is going to be a transformation inside of you uh, in terms of your uh, work method in terms of your uh, uh, you know the way you think regarding work will be changing so you will be either uh, experiencing uh, intervention of the universe or you will be uh, be a catalyst in this uh, intervention there is going to be a judgment to remove yourself from mediocrity that is what I am seeing so a situation where you are going to resurrect yourself after a 
after an ending of some sort so you are going to resurrect or rejuvenate or uh, you are going to recover in this time period so wherever you were you felt that you are not going in the right direction uh, despite your wealth despite your achievements you felt inside of you that i am not doing that well so because you are an aries you keep moving forward and you have this forward going uh, looking spirit uh, so you know you despite doing well you want to do better so what is happening right now is you are going to uh, make sure that you leave anything uh, that stops you that disturbs you that creates you know overlooking things or you know in your detailed working method so if you were overlooking things if you were being a bit lazy if you were getting distracted you are going to make those changes in this time period so what i am seeing is uh, you will be sincerely working the propensity of sincerity will increase and with the knight of wands energy there is a slow growth so in that slow growth you will be looking towards a faster growth in this time period and you are going to uh, the truth about this situation is that some of you have moved because of a partner some of you are in a partnership situation some of you made some choices uh, which created a you know kind of stagnation so you are going to move on from that you will be given a path you will be harmonizing your energies in terms of your career the truth path will be seen and the ace of swords means a realization will occur in your mentality in this time period so a new start of some kind or new relooking towards something a adventurous path or a path of truth will be taken in this time period so three of wands is your energy very hopeful in this month you are looking towards uh, what you have invested and what is coming to you and 99.9% .9 it will come to you so basically it can be a new start new job uh, new work uh, which can be for many of you who are looking for a job uh, the king of pentacles energy is telling me that you are already in a long term situation of stability so you are stable you have money you are securely planted on the throne some of you could be having uh, taurus virgo or capricorn in your chart so you have the backing of the earth sign here some of you could be married to them so there is a practical energy that is going to uh, give you fuel and fire uh, with a situation with someone else who is uh, uh, king of swords so king of swords is a person of the sign of aquarius libra gemini could be a boss could be a an interfering person could be uh, a, a person who does not support you so five of wands is the energy with this person you could be competing with this person maybe or this person could be creating disturbances you could be surrounded so your weakness is three of cups this could be you know you overlooking things and taking things a bit lightly or this person or another you know energies other energies could be interfering in your job or disturbing you in this time period so there is a competitive energy there is there are struggles obstacles or you need to see the truth in a situation and uh, have this energy of king of swords so a king of swords could be around you or you need to adopt this energy in an obstacle situation so you have to be analytical and objective in this time period so there is a sadness about thing uh, it can be your love life it could be a health situation it could be anything it should not distract you or it should not uh, you know um, create that control in your life that uh, gives you a feeling of uh, fear or feeling of being limited so there is this feeling 
angels are saying that uh, you are doing well but there is this feeling inside of you that that connects to sadness or misery despite having long term situations intact despite having property help or support in your life you could be feeling miserable with the five of pentacles in terms of your money so 10 of pentacles and five of pentacles means that despite having everything you could be feeling uh, that i am not doing so well so that is the feeling you have but as you move forward in your um, uh, so intuitively you you are uh, feeling a bit baffled with this new start uh, some of you are in a two of cups you are in a new start you could be connected with a pisces in terms of your love or relationship uh, so that could be bothering you but let me tell you uh, you know you are um, intuitively moving towards a new start and it is going to be a good one uh, not everything is clear to you right now but as you move forward the um, uh, page of wands is uh, saying that new motivation new thinking will come inside of you there is going to be end of disadvantage and sun will shine on you this is happening because um, because of the death situation so uh, you are going to uh, you know very you are going to be discerning regarding what keeps you uh, what keeps you or controls you and takes you backward so you are going to have a good thinking about this with the judgment and you will be making a decision to get out of old energies or things that keeps you behind so with the queen of wands coming again with the six of swords what is happening is you are already a leader you are already an achiever and you are going to achieve further any problem that was stopping you is going to be uh, you a novelty will ease your situation and you are going to move towards calmer or peaceful environment in terms of your job sun will shine on you recognition will come after high responsibility you could be doing lot of work lot of uh, you could be burdened with uh, or an overkill of work but ultimately sun will shine on you and or you could be in a disadvantageous position regarding health or regarding too much work uh, of some other kind or some kind of impact in your life but you are going to recover you are going to shine bright you are going to get name and fame you are going to be recognized so what is your advantage your advantage is the chariot so the chariot advantage tells us that you will be moving fast or slow however you are moving your target is fixed and you are very very focused so focus will be your advantage in this time period and your focus gives you a goal and that makes you a winner so triumph is going to be there at the end so you will be able to move towards your triumph whatever is your target so in this month you can be an achiever a winner uh, definitely so let's read out the lenormand for you lenormand is an oracle card the gyps from the gypsy deck it is an ancient gypsy deck so the card number uh, 12 is your card this is the birds card so you will be doing detailed analysis and you will be opening up an investigation into your job situation which will change your perspective so a positive transformation is uh, going to happen in your professional sphere in this time period so a proposal an interview an appointment are on their way which could however mean a move or placement away from home so some of you have already moved to a new location or a new country a lot of changes will be affecting your collaboration and job you will be 
talked about with esteem and respect so what is happening in terms of your success is change of residence or work has already happened uh, and you have decided with careful reflection uh, precise analysis of your situation will give you a new professional perspective good news advantageous contracts can come to you as unexpected events you will reach the height of your career and recognition in a foreign country that is for sure for many of you in terms of money overseas related investments will be giving you good income prudent management of capital safe savings uh, economic growth and well calculated risks will give you extra income your money will be in good hands you should relax so uh, there is no point in feeling sadness no point in feeling miserable you are doing very well you already are in a good position and you will be very stable in this time period so aries i wish you all the best if you have liked this reading please like and subscribe if you have something to say to me write it in the comment box and if you are not feeling so successful you can ask for a reading i can put your doubts to uh, you know rest and uh, these readings are prepaid pre-booked and pre-slotted so make up your mind and then come to me uh, my uh, email id and uh, membership link is in the description box so if you want to write to me directly you can write write to me regarding a request for a reading uh, or if you want to join membership you can access me uh, again with the email id and uh, ask for a quick reading or brief uh you know chat uh, for any questions if you become a member but if you are not a member you have to uh, book my reading so that's it thank you so much bye bye